Hi, I'm William Robertson, otherwise known as Trucker Billy. I've been in the moving industry for over 17 years, and today I'm going to teach you how to pack your TV. This will work for LCDs, DLPs, plasmas, basically any of your TVs that are flat or narrow. You're not really going to be able to pack any of your tube conventional TVs or your big screens like this. This will also work for other items in your house, large picture frames, shadow boxes, uh, mirror tabletops, uh, glass tabletops, anything you really want to take care of but don't know how to pack. This okay, know. the first step is going to be gathering your materials. Everything you see here is what you're going to need to pack your TV. Let me go down the list for you real quick. First, you need a really big box. Now this is my suggestion. Uh, fill a top king queen split, that way you can leave your TV base on. What you're going to do with this box is section it, cut it into fours once you build it, and it will actually fit your TV like a custom fit, probably better than the box it came in. Uh, the other items you're going to need, some tape, obviously, a razor blade, a large marker, some bubble wrap, I strongly suggest some moving pads. What these are is paper pads, almost like a blanket made out of paper, recyclable, that you can pick up at just about any moving company. Um, if you don't have that, you could also pick up cloth moving pads, quite a bit more expensive, unless you just happen to have a few laying around the house, or any old blankets that you have in the house. The last item would be some additional cardboard, which I'll show you what you need that for later. Okay, let's get cracking. The first step, this is going to sound maybe funny, but I suggest cleaning your TV before you even take it off the TV stand or off the wall. Next, you want to mark your cables, where they go, because when you get to the other end, it's going to be real hard to remember where they came from. You can put a little piece of tape or a tab. You can even pick up special colored dots at Best Buy and uh, Walmart. Just that way it's much easier to hook it all back up. Once that's done, you got it down off the wall or off its stand. You're going to need to pull your bubble wrap out and wrap your TV. Now you want to keep it even as possible, I guess would be the best way to put it. Because if you have big bulges, it's not going to sit square in the box. Don't worry about wrapping the base. The base will be protected in later steps. Right now, our main concern is the screen. Because the rest of the TV, believe it or not, is incredibly durable. Also, you don't want to put any tape on the finish. Keep all the tape on the bubble wrap itself. Try and get it around all corners and keep it taut. You want to keep it tight on there because a loose fit makes it harder to handle later. Okay, once that's done, you want to grab your extra cardboard. What you're going to do with this, I've already pre cut this just for expediting the video. You want it to basically cover the full area of the actual screen. Don't worry about the hard edges, those will be fine. But you want to make sure you cover the full area of the screen because if there's a fragile spot on this TV, that would be it. And all I did there was took a regular, I think this is a 3.0. Yeah, this is a 3.0 or a medium box, and actually just left it flat and just cut the top flaps off of it, and it fit here really well. Now, obviously, depending on the size of your TV, the make model, you're going to have to do different things. I suggest double-ply cardboard. Uh, we have in the industry what's called a dish pack. That would work really well. It's a much larger box. It would probably cover all the way up to a 50-inch. You probably wouldn't have to cut it. You can just throw it right on there. But Sorry, all I got is a 42 at home, so this is what you get to work with. So get that on there really well. Okay, so now we got the bubble wrap, we got the cardboard. These right here, four inch strips, 
a foot to 18 inches, you want to fold them over the corners and tape them into place. Push it down a little so it's easier to get the tape around it because if it's not sticking good, it's not going to do you any good. Tape has escaped. Alright, so now we got our bubble wrap, we have our cardboard across the screen, we have our cardboard on the corners. Next, this is where your paper pads would come in. Now me, I'm going to go ahead and use the paper pad because I have it. If you don't have a paper pad, this is where you're going to want to use your moving pad or an old blanket at home. Now also, you could have used an old blanket for the bubble wrap, but I had the bubble wrap, that's what I prefer. Um, there's more than one way to skin a cat. And out of the paper pad. Lay it down flat on the ground. Grab your TV. Just barely put it on the edge there. Just like that. About a quarter away onto the pad. Pull the pad up and over. And tape your edges. We now have two, three, three protective layers on this TV. We're not done yet.